What's going on, y'all? You already know what it is. This is your boy, Tune in Sports. Let's talk about it, man. Happy Juneteenth to everybody. If you know, you know. But let's get into it, man. I'm back, man. So I just want to talk about the Suns real quick, man. The one big move that the Suns should make next is basically they got to get rid of DeAndre Aiden, in my opinion. Um, Looking at this Suns team now, look, it looked fun. It looked like we're going to see a whole bunch of scoring, but it's still missing like that that depth, you know what I mean? So the Suns are still missing a bench and a reliable, well, <laughs> they're missing reliable defenders, you know? Cause they, a lot of people was wondering, like, who are they going to stop? Who are they going to guard? So they're missing reliable defenders, and they also they need, like, a star in PG. Unless you let D-Book run the one again, or you insert into, like, a, a, a Cameron Payne in the lineup. But I like the move to get Bradley Bill um, for, like, the Suns. I like I like the move, you know. Um, and they also hired uh, Frank Vogel. So, look, it looked like they cleaning some of the house up. So, uh, now, you got rid of uh, Chris Paul and Monty Williams. Now it's time to trade DeAndre Ayton, who has been kind of a disappointment, and show that Tom's is really like, do you really want to be there? Like, is he really bought in? You know, remember, he really wasn't even supposed to return uh, for, for that season. Um, they matched the offer, I believe. So what you do is you trade DeAndre Ayton contract, which is around $100 million for or better, for like a good amount of productive players. Uh, you bring in... Your, your own guys back, like Torrey Craig, who I thought was good in the playoffs, Josh Okoji, uh, and Landell. You bring them guys back. And one trade that been thrown out there is like uh, the Hornets trade, like with Terry Rose, Cody Martin, and Caleb. Not Caleb. Cody Martin and um, Mark Williams. You know, Cody Martin is the brother of Caleb. So Cody Martin and Mark Williams and Terry Rose. And with Terry... You know, you automatically will be getting that star in PG. And Terry, he, that man, he's, he can ball, man. He's a baller. Um, he be, you know, doing his thing when he played the, uh, the Cavaliers. So that's another score right there. And then you have Cody Martin, who will potentially be like your 3 and D type of guy. And then you pair that along with Mark Williams, uh, who was a rookie, um, who didn't really play that many games. Uh, he had like a thumb injury, so he only played about 40 certain games. But he will provide, you know, that defense on the interior. So that's just a trade that has been thrown out there, um, according to the article. So... I think those are the moves you need to, like, basically, the big move is getting rid of DeAndre Ayers so you can bring back a good amount of players to help uh, build that bench and that depth up. So that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments section below, man. Leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the sub button. It's free. Peace. Hey, hey Quill. Hey, Quill, can I ask you a question, though, bro? What's your question, How many bro? players left your team this year? Oh, my nigga. We got, one, <laughs> we got two people leave our team. <laughs> Yo, I ain't never heard of that, yo. That's crazy. <laughs> but 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 here's the thing, though, hey, my nigga. Yo. We don't That's have crazy, bro. I don't care, yo. Talent, my nigga. <laughs> you ever heard of two players leaving like back to back like that? Like, nah, <laughs> I never heard of that for real. Come on.